what do you think? You want to play a bit? Support yeah, team? no, yeah, I'm, I'm great friends with a few players, and uh, it's just got that old school sort of um, era about it, you know, yeah. that old school gentleman sort of approach, very much like the like special forces. The end goal is to win the World Cup, of course, um, but he's also smart enough to know that there's going to be bumps along the way. Yeah. And now that they've lost a few games, obviously I was part of those losses, is that you can kind of put a tap to one side and say, it's only about the World Cup, it's only about the World Cup. Uh, and, and the fact that they lose, they'll get better for it, I think. Okay. What's making the team today? What are the sights to? I'm I'm interested to see how the midfield goes, and but really I'm excited for Joe Cognacinha on the wing. I think we saw potential uh, against Japan. He was outstanding in that game, and I think what he brings over all the other wingers is, is just something very different. Uh, and that X factor, just to beat a player or create something out of absolutely nothing. You know, all the other wingers uh, have their strengths, their weaknesses, but. You know, his point of difference is that he can just make something happen out of nothing or get an offload or create something. And in test rugby, that is invaluable. You know, about defences are so, so good these days. And if one player can just create something or spark something, it's massive. So he's on a, a you know, upward trajectory in terms of his learning. And he's, you know, it's going to be tight in terms of the World Cup. But if he keeps progressing as well as he has done, then he could be a huge asset for him when he comes to the World Cup. Okay. The point of difference is for Well, so gotta get for security. <laughs> Fuck! How much? Oh yes, thank you.